I'm Dave Gilmore. Um, I am from Derbyshire. I'm married to Katie, father to Eli, and we live in Kirkintilloch. I grew up in a Christian home. My mum and dad um, have always been very faithful and they took me and my sister and my brother along to church. Um, and yeah, that's what we grew up with, you know, knowing Bible stories and, um, and always believing. I, I never doubted what the Bible said, um, but I, I wouldn't say, you know, as a teenager, I don't think I was living for Christ then, but continued to be ministered to at going to a faithful church, hearing the Bible preached. Um, maybe when I was 17, did I really decide that, you know, that this faith was mine and I needed to live for Christ and um, live differently, be, be distinctive. I think it was at that point that I really committed myself to Christ. Um, although, you know, it's, it's a gradual process, isn't it? That's not necessarily one um, damascene moment, um, but uh, yeah, if I look back on my life, it's been just God's grace throughout it, um, kind of guiding me and drawing me to him. So in uh, 2012, I came to Glasgow uh, to study at Glasgow Uni and um, on the recommendation of my now father-in-law, I came to the Tron um, and Katie came as well and settled in. It was uh, quite different to church back home, but they taught the Bible faithfully and uh, I was really struck immediately by the warm welcome I received from yeah, lots of people that are still around today. Um, well, it wasn't my first Sunday, but within a few weeks of joining, um, after a morning service, a group of students that were around, around would, would go to lunch together. And I remember being asked what I thought of the sermon. And uh, I was quite taken aback because I'd never been asked that before, particularly by, certainly never by a peer. Um, I think really set the tone for my time at church while at uni, so it was a really encouraging um, time spiritually being at uni. Um, my studies didn't go so well uh, due to some health health concerns. Um, I think it's actually my first year. I developed a, a, a health condition, and um, after a couple of years of battling with that, I had to leave university um, before graduating. And yeah, that was a really difficult time. Um, to kind of have the feeling of stuff falling apart around you. Um, it was, yeah, it was challenging. And I really, I did lean on my church family at that point. Um, and it was my faith, I think, that along with the people of God that got me through that. Um, knowing that I'm not defined by you know, a degree or, or even a job that I might go to, um, but knowing that we're defined in Christ um, our identity is in him. Um, I think that truth really gave me context and, and perspective in that tricky patch, knowing that that these worldly struggles aren't forever and um, there's hope for us. That was yeah really helpful at that time. Last year we um, had the joy of Eli arriving um, in November and uh, despite chaotic builders at home and um, the cold and the wet he arrived and uh, I remember being handed him and holding him and not having a clue what to do and uh, being exhausted but just overcome with joy and um, obviously at Christmas time we're thinking about God sending his son to the world and having my own son is just given me so much more appreciation of that, of the, the cost of that um, and the, the love that God has for us to, to do that for us. Um, it makes your brain hurt really to think about it and, and um, when you're holding your own child to realise what has been done for you as a Christian, um, yeah, it's amazing.